My name is Gabriela Santos Rodriguez. I'm a PhD student in the Weatherage Lab at the Garvan Institute in Sydney, Australia. And the title of my poster is Evolutionary Dynamics of Circular RNAs in Primates. Circular RNAs are known coding RNAs that form by back splicing. For an exon, three prime splice site is ligated to an upstream five prime splice site, forming a closed circular known coding RNA transcript. Back splicing occurs co transcriptionally and it's aided by inverted repeats that promote complementarity between adjacent introns favoring the circular isoform. It is known that many primate genes produce circular RNAs. However, the extent of their conservation between closely related species remains unclear. Therefore, in this project, we analyze the extent of circular RNA conservation between closely related species. For this, we compare tissue-specific transcripts ranging from 7 million to over 70 mi million years of primate evolution. As previously reported, we found that gene expression shows a tissue-specific pattern. In contrast, clustering of circular RNA expression found across primates did not show any tissue or species-specific pattern, with the vast majority of circular RNAs displaying species-specific expression. However, more careful investigation revealed that a subset of circular RNAs conserved across around 30 million years, that is from hominids to old world monkeys, showed a clear neuronal tissue clustering. To explore the regulatory mechanisms driving circular RNA conservation, we compared conserved versus species-specific circular RNAs, where we define that a circular RNA is conserved if ortholog exons forming the backsplice junctions are present in human, chimp, and baboon datasets. Interestingly, we found that higher levels of circularization versus, uh, of circularization of conserved circular RNAs versus species-specific circular RNAs with the percent of circularization compared to linear transcript increasing according to conservation age. As we can see in the cumulative plots of percentage of spliced in of conserved and species-specific circular RNAs. We next assess if um, we next assess cis and trans regulatory features that could drive from circular RNA formation, where we found that conserved circular RNAs are conserved in are enriched in young, trans, in young transposons, and that the downstream intron of the final exons uh, was considerably longer for conserved circular RNA than species specific ones as demonstrated in the box plots of in, uh, intron length distributions. When comparing homolog introns of conserved circular RNAs in human versus lemur, where such circular RNAs are not conserved, we found that human introns of conserved circular RNAs are significantly longer, and that this lengthening is due to tra young transposon insertions. From our analysis, we conclude that many circular RNAs do not show conservation even across very short evolutionary time frame, and an important subset show conservation, neuronal expression, and unique regulatory features. In particular, our results reveal that production of circular RNAs is driven by the insertion of novel transposon in adjacent downstream intron that over time stabilize the production of circular RNAs. Altogether, this suggests that circular RNAs expands transcriptal diversity, and this contributes to the evolutionary rewiring of primate cells. With that, I would like to thank you for letting me uh, talk to you about my uh, one of my PhD projects. Thank uh, UNSW, the Australian uh, Research Council, and to, if you have more questions about this, uh, these uh, results, we have a bioarchive uh, preprint that you can go into the QR code. Thank you very much.